I'm about to teach you some shit you probably didn't like, but here you go. This is a black hole. A black hole is a region in space where the gravity is so strong that can't nothing escape from that, not even light. The youngest black hole that we have ever seen was 13 billion years old. The largest black hole in the Milky Way galaxy is 53 million light years across. You know what the fuck that mean? It would take you 53 million years to go from left to right in that bitch. Some people speculate that black holes are actually wormholes that take you to another dimension or other areas of the universe. This is yet to be proven. But what is a fact is what would happen if you fall into one of these bitches. If you run your ass up to one of these and once you hit the event horizon, which is the little black hole in the center, which is essentially not a hole but a dark sphere in all of their totality, if you was in space, you wouldn't even be able to see one coming because light can't escape from it. It would just suck you up instantly. That was a good one. <laughs> But anyway, bitch, as from someone on the outside watching you go in, once you cross the event horizon, your body would spaghettify, completely destroying and stretching you out on a molecular level. This is a picture of something that happened 53 million years ago, and I'm finna tell you how. This is the world's first picture of an actual black hole. This bitch is called M87 and it's 53 million light years away. Now, if you've been coming your ass to class all the time, you know that all. If you somehow left Earth at the speed of light to go to this black hole, once you got there, 53 million years would have passed on Earth. You'll be old as fuck too, but no, no, not that fucking old. Now you might be asking yourself, how the fuck is that possible? How was a picture of something that fucking old, and we got a picture of it right now? Well, let's go back to that fucking picture to explain. In space, bro, light can only travel at the speed of light, no faster. Meaning that once something is so far away from us, it's now outside of our past light cone. The fuck does that mean, Farad? Let's say this is an explosion, right? That means this black hole blew up 53 million years ago. The photons that make up that light traveled through space for 53 million years and then reached us. Now during that 53 million years of going through fucking space, humans came, we got smarter, got legs, and got just start making shit, and eventually invented something that could capture that light. 53 million years later, that light hits one of our telescopes, we see that shit, process it, and now we get to see something that happened 53 million years ago. Just like in my video about the speed the light follow me so now if i was to say this technically this is our first image of a black hole as it was 53 million years ago just like they say if the sun went out it would take eight minutes for us to know on earth if this black hole disappeared it would take 53 million years before we even knew about it so as far as we concerned this bitch don't even exist no more so if you think everything is bigger in texas take your ass out here Today I'm gonna be teaching y'all five facts that you probably ain't fucking know about Neptune. Number one, the eighth planet in our fucking solar system is 2.7 billion miles away. If you could get the fuck up and run at 35,000 miles an hour, it would take you 12 years to get there. Number two, this motherfucker is 96,000 miles around. If you tried to drive around that bitch in a car going 60, it'd take you 67 days. You could put Earth in this motherfucker four times. Exactly. Number three, I think this is my favorite. The wind speed is 1,500 miles an hour. Got some real good wind out there. Get your kite flying and shit nice and fast. Number four, bitch, it take 165 Earth years to get one fucking year on Neptune. Meaning that for every 165 times Earth go around the sun, that's when the fuck Neptune do it once. And number five, bitch, since Neptune is mainly made out of methane and other shit, gases and shit, the average temperature on Neptune is 218 below zero shit bitch fuck freezing to death you gonna freeze to life but yeah that's neptune bitch if y'all want me to make more videos like this about other planets put a goat emoji in the comments but i'm at though peace y'all follow me though Today I'm going to be teaching y'all about a planet that lived inside of a fucking star. This five facts that you probably didn't know about Kepler-70b. Number one, the surface temperature on this fucking planet is 12,000 degrees. Bitch, that's hotter than the sun. Number two, it's 4,000 light years away. And in universe terms, that's actually pretty fucking close. But if we was traveling to that motherfucker at 38,000 miles an hour, which is about how fast we can go, it would take you 71 million years to get there. Number three, Kepler-70b used to be the size of fucking jupiter until one day the star that they go around got ready to die and it swole up and swallowed that bitch and that motherfucker just cooked for millions of years until the fucking star shrunk again and now instead of being able to fit a thousand earths in that bitch that bitch is smaller than the earth number four this shit might not even exist no more. Due to the fact that it takes the light from fucking Kepler 4,000 years to reach us, the planet could be completely fucking destroyed and we wouldn't know for 4,000 years. Anyway, assuming it's still there, number five. 
this bitch gonna be cooling down for at least a million years. Hey, and these things right here on the screen, you see these are called the pillars of creation. This is where stars are born. If you want me to make a video about that, put a fucking gorilla in the comments. But anyway, man, that's five facts that you probably didn't know about Kepler-70B. Y'all follow me right here. Hit the plus. I'm out. I'm finna tell y'all five facts about space that you probably didn't fucking know. For one, ain't shit in space close together. None of that shit is close together. It look like it's close together, but it's not. Everything in outer space is far as fuck apart. Space has voids that stretch easily from 30 to 300 million light years across. Meaning that if you were to cross that motherfucker from one side to the other, moving at the speed of light, it would still take you 30 to 300 million years to get to the other side. Number two, sound does not travel in space at all. A fucking star could blow up a couple light years away from you and you wouldn't even know about it until a fucking wave of hot radiation melts your ass instantly. Number three, we are small as a bitch. The fastest we have ever been able to travel is like, what, 45,000 miles an hour? Somewhere around them numbers. The size and distance comparisons in space are out of this fucking world. The next closest galaxy to us would take two million years to get to at the speed of light. And we cannot even go that fast right now. Number four, bitch, space is empty. But it's not empty. But it's empty as hell. Imagine just floating through a place that's so fucking dark you can't see your hand in front of your shit. There is no fucking sound whatsoever. And at any moment, a rock moving through space at tens of thousands of miles an hour with the size of a grain of sand could blow through your body and put a hole in you the size of your fucking head. Yeah, space scary as fuck. And last but not least, space has some of the most destructive explosions you will ever fucking know about. When a star goes supernova, the force generated can be about 10 to the 44th power megatons. That's 10 with 44 zeros behind it. That's an explosion with more power than the entire sun has put out in 10 billion years of living. We thought we did something when we went to the moon. We ain't ready for the shit that's out here. Today I'm going to be teaching y'all about a planet that rained hot fucking glass. Hey bro, this is exoplanet 189733b. You feel me? It's a little bigger than Jupiter. It's big as the fuck. Period. This big pristine blue bitch get its color from the silicate particles in the scorching hot atmosphere. The average surface temperature on that motherfucker gonna be a cool 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. That's gonna get you nice and fucking sad. And this is silicate materials. This basically the shit that be in rocks, the little sparkle shit that we used to think was diamonds. Those materials turn to liquid and evaporate into the atmosphere, then they rain down as hot fucking glass. Oh, and not only is it gonna fucking rain down from left to right, it's gonna do that shit at 4,300 miles an hour. Sideways. One visit to this motherfucker will guarantee that you got an even amount of depression spread through your whole body. And that's gonna be our trip to exoplanet 189733b. Y'all follow me, bruh. Today I'm gonna be teaching you five reasons why the fucking earth cannot be flat. I'ma personally enjoy this shit. Alright, for one bitch, unless you got some new form of gravity, gravity as we know it pulls shit to the center. But since the earth flat, right, gravity gonna pull shit to the center of that fucking CD. Which leads me to reason number one. Bitch, all the plants will grow slanted. Fucking plants grow against gravity using negative geotropism. If an orange fell off a tree sideways, it'd hit your ass in the face. Number two, all the water would pool up in the center. Because the only fucking reason rivers flow is because gravity's even pool all around. But since gravity pull into the center of a fucking CD, all the water gonna turn into a big ball in the center. Please tell me is it a big ass dome of water somewhere on earth that I missed? Number three, bitch, all fucking sports play with a ball would be impossible. Because the minute you throw that bitch, it's gonna pull down towards the center of the disc. Cause we live on a fucking plate, remember? Oh, y'all finna fucking hate number four. Number four, damn it, since all the water gonna pool up in a big ass dome in the center, guess what the edge is gonna be? Desert. Antarctica the edge. It alright. Fuck gravity. Fuck all that, huh? The edges of the fucking disc would be our deserts. And number five, bitch, going to the edge would be impossible. Cause gravity pulling you towards the center as you get to the edge, which would be the edge of the atmosphere. So by the time you reach the edge of this big ass fucking cake holder we own, bitch, if you slipped and fell just like this, your ass would fall sideways, fast as fuck, across the whole CD, until you hit a sideways tree or some shit. So yeah, fuck all that. Them my five reasons why the earth can't be flat. Y'all follow me though. Bro, we just hit 2.4 million. Mm. These people stupid as hell. Flat. Like, what type of shit is this? Just don't let them get on you. They're like fucking parasites. They can't do nothing but shoot shit at me. <laughs> Cuz, it's one of them down here. He rich as fuck. He got a lot of that green shit they be passing around. They coming to your ass first. 
And you the last one that ain't safe. What's up, Earth? I need to come over there and holler at you about something. I bet you won't bring your ass over here. Nah, bitch. I won't. I want to hit Earth ass. Earth, I'm going to move as fast as I can to get over there before he get to you. How fast he moving? 60,000 feet a second. 60 what? You know what? I think I'm cool with this. Yeah, come knock these bitches off my back. You might not survive, Earth. Bitch, I'm going to always make it. They ain't though. Come hit these motherfuckers. Oh, poor Earth. You've lost it. Nah, bitch. I have had it. They just so fucking nasty. That's my only problem, man. Bitch, they ain't that bad. I know it ain't that bad. Bro, don't be like that, man. Bitch, I hope to God they find a way to live on the back of your fucking ass. I got fleas, motherfucker. All of them. The fuck are y'all talking about? Hey, Moon. What the fuck is that? What you talking about? Oh, shit. Yes. I'm finna fuck over something. I know that's not a fucking... <laughs> That's a super massive black hole. If we were traveling at the speed, I mean, it ain't that big. It can't be that big. Bitch, just turn around. What the fuck you tell me? <sighs> How the fuck that sneak up on us like that? You a fucking planet. How the fuck you don't know this? That bitch coming at us at 500,000 miles an hour in silence. Hey, you think you can suck these creatures off my fucking back? Oh, I'm sure it can. And gravity and light and everything else. <laughs> What's that sound? That is our fucking demise. We finna die, bitch. Hey, thank you so much, Mr. Black Hole. I'm finally free from these things on my ass, man. Please. It will take you 52 million years traveling at the speed of light just to get to the other side of that motherfucker. It's over. It's most definitely over. Oh, I wanna die like this, man. What the fuck? Well, you better get to want it then, bitch. I'm so happy. <laughs> Say, bro, I don't feel too good. Nah, hold up, motherfucker. What's wrong with you? Shit, I think I'm finna go supernova. I'm about to die. What the fuck he say finna happen to him? <laughs> Shit, he finna blow y'all ass the fuck up. <laughs> hey, you fucking idiot. If he blow up, we all did. <laughs> you for real? Have I ever looked it like I was playing? <laughs> Son, how you feel? Shit, I'm gonna blow in the next thousand years or so. You gonna blow in the next what? Shit, about the next thousand years, man. <laughs> uh, what the fuck we gonna do? Well, before I agree to give a shit, what do you call dead since you claim he gonna kill us all if he blow up? You gonna be a fucking ember. A shiny red hot dick burning through space at 10,000 miles an hour. <laughs> you know what, bitch? I'm actually cool with the shit. You can burn these motherfuckers off my fucking ass. Cuz, I don't wanna die, bro. I don't feel too good, bro. Hey, somebody check on him.